Hello and welcome to a new quick tip video from Dr. Spotfire. My name is Athir Alatar and I'm a lead data scientist here at Spotfire. Today I will go through our Spotfire apps and data science in operation page. In this page we show different applications for Spotfire and data science in different verticals. I will show a couple of examples from the uh, live demos that we have uh, here. So for example, let's start with the uh, hospital management app. Uh, in this app, we're trying to predict the uh, wait time uh, and the stay, the stay time also, uh, also for patients when uh, admitted to uh, Spotfire. Uh, this application uh, and use case will help us to uh, uh, better book the needed resources uh, in the hospital management uh, area and will also help the uh, healthcare providers uh, to uh, predict or to have a future uh, view of what the utilization uh, will be. Uh, and then it's worth mentioning that all these applications are uh, available uh, to be interact with in a live demo and we also have included uh, short demos uh, for each of one of them. In the well completion surveillance application, uh, we developed this uh, along with our partner Privet uh, and then we're trying to uh, create uh, a solution where all the well surveillance uh, data uh, and functions uh, during the hydrofracture procedure uh, can be looked at uh, from one place uh, and furthermore we can also perform uh, some data analysis uh, tasks uh, we can also connect to uh, different uh, data sources the machine learning uh, pattern recognition uh, application uh, or AI app, uh, we're trying to uh, detect uh, or classify the defected wafers uh, here using machine learning by training a model on uh, uh, previous uh, data. Uh, in this application, you can create your own model. Uh, you can load that model, you can uh, score it, uh, and then you can also like uh, compare it with other models that you uh, create. Uh, and it also can be, uh, uh, this application can be uh, accessed through our uh, demo gallery or through this uh, page itself. Our anomaly detection uh, root cause analysis uh, goes through uh, the data investigation and then, uh, uh, models the, uh, 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 the anomaly data. Uh, you can basically create a model of all of your uh, data here and then try to uh, figure out uh, which of your variables is uh, causing uh, the most, uh, let's say, anomalies. Uh, this application has many cutting edge uh, use cases uh, like using uh, TensorFlow autoencoders also to, uh, to identify the anomalous behavior in, in, in multivariable uh, uh, environments. Uh, you can also access this application through the demo gallery and interact uh, with that. And there are other several uh, interesting applications. Uh, we have uh, applications in the human resources area, uh, people analysis. Uh, we have uh, uh, statical process count control uh, application, which can be used uh, in statistics, uh, healthcare, and also in energy area. Um, one of the uh, interesting uh, use cases also is uh, the uh, fraud and risk management application. And this application basically uses uh, machine learning uh, to uh, identify the fraudulent transactions uh, in the banking sector. Uh, it performs on, uh, let's say, uh, performs analysis on live data. Uh, you can also deploy and deploy models, uh, uh, and it also connects to our uh, model ops uh, products and streaming uh, data. Uh, so this was a, a quick tour on our uh, new uh, AI apps uh, page. Uh, you can uh, go uh, uh, and, and check the applications and interact with them uh, yourself uh, and see that might give you uh, an inspiration for your uh, next uh, AI app. Thank you and stay tuned for our next week video.